So this is the last one in your Back to Pilates series and by now I'm hoping that you're getting into a routine and finding that 10 minutes in your day. Today's session is a whole body workout. Hi, I'm Louise from Studio 44 and if you're still struggling to find 10 minutes to fit into your day, stay tuned to the end for my freebie to help you find your 10 minutes. Let's get going. So we're going to start with our legs bent and with us seated. And we're going to just take it, arms out in front, into a roll up. So lower those armpits, I want you to tilt. Just take the tailbone underneath you, heading towards those heels. Keep those armpits low as you go back. So we'll start off with some small movements to start with. Breathing out, in breath, and then out as we come up and sit tall. And again, tilting, breathing out, lowering those armpits. In breath. Uh, bring it back up and sit tall. Good. Let's do a little bit further this time as we start to warm up. If you can take it to your lower back onto the floor, that's brilliant. If you can't, just go to where you can. In breath and then come back up. We want to make sure these shoulders are relaxed so all the work's happening from the centre. And again, take it behind. Good. And breathing out as you come back up and one more tilt 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 draw up through that center pubic bone towards that belly button keeping those shoulders relaxed in breath and then back up brilliant good from here we're going to take it into a spine twist so i want you to sit up nice and tall take your hands behind your head and keep your elbows back Try not to push your head forward, so push your head into your hands, so have your hands interlinked. Good, so we're going to breathe in, lengthen through that spine, keep that lengthening as we breathe out and twist. In breath as we come back, and again, keep looking ahead, breathing out and back. And again, breathe out. Lovely, and last one. And breathe in as you come back well done good okay so we're going to take it into rolling back another one to nice one to mobilize the back so heels um towards your bottom tilt lower those armpits breathing in breathing out and again keep looking at your tummies and keep those armpits lowered i've got a zip on the back which is making a noise Ugh. and again keep it going lovely the more you look at your tummy, the more likely you to stay in a ball rather than flattening out if you look up. Hold it here for me. Right, are you ready? Said it was an all body workout. We are going to take it into a nice little core session here. So we're going to take one leg out, lower those armpits and take it down. So you're into a neutral position, but your head's up. If you want your head down, that's fine. So let's go into one leg stretch. So we're taking it away, breathing out, breathing in. Keep those armpits lowered. Now remember you can take your legs higher if you want to it's up to you you know what level you are at and what you're used to doing keep those armpits lowered and again good let's do two more two and one lovely if you can stay here stay here we're going to take it as double leg stretch take those legs away together and back here and we're going to breathe in and breathe out as you take those legs away squeeze those glutes heels together toes apart lovely because we get the glutes a little bit working a bit more and again last two good last one excellent and again you can have your head down from here we're going to take it into a straight leg scissors so my legs are nice and straight aren't they pull it towards you and relax Woo! and again good really lengthen that way so let's pull it towards you for two and relax good keep nice and curled up don't let that upper body move two more last one and then are you still with me crisscross so lower those armpits hands behind the head head into the hands we are going to twist around the spine you don't need to move your body too much you're just moving around your spine and you twist elbow towards the knee keep the elbows wide and again great one for that waist use that center keep those armpits lowered lovely let's do two more two and last one well done good bring yourself for a seated position that wasn't quite the stomach series but we'll move on to that another video 
So sit yourself up, pull back through that center, take the arms out in front and take it into a spine stretch forward. Good. And then stack that spine back up, sit nice and tall for me. And again, tilt, pull back through that center as you lean forward to get a nice stretch in that spine. And one more, pull back, take it forward. Good. Excellent. Okay, onto your side. So we're going to lie down and we're going to make sure we're set up. So hips on top of each other, make sure you can see the toes. Breast, breastbone and pubic bone in line so you know you're lying in neutral. Turn the top hip out so the toes are pointing up and you're just going to take it up and down. Lovely. Try and keep all this nice and relaxed and we'll do two more. Good. So we're trying to get into that glute a little bit. Turn the hip in so the foot's facing down and up and down. So you breathe in to lift, breathe out to lower. Last two. Good. From there, if you can, if you need to put your hand down, that's absolutely fine. We're going to breathe in and lift. And again, breathe in and lift. Keep that going. Keep lengthening those legs away from you. Really working through that center and lengthening through that spine. One more. Brilliant. Good. From there, roll onto your stomach and we'll take it into our swan dive. So elbows into the side, hands wide, or do it how you normally do it. Pubic bone to the floor and glutes working. You're going to lengthen through the spine, lower those armpits, and you're going to come up. So lift up through the chest first before you start pushing up. Glutes working, centre working, and take it back down. Brilliant. And again, lengthening up. Really lengthen through the top of the head, lower those armpits. Let's do two more. And again. So it's a really nice one if you've been sitting for long periods in your day or just getting that back extended. We don't do that enough. Brilliant. Well done. Okay. From there, back on your heels, have a quick stretch. So take the nose to the knees, take some nice deep breaths and enjoy that stretch. Good. Really just focus on that breathing. Good. Okay, so we're going to lie the other side now and we're going to take it into the other side of the sidekick. Just move my belt. Ooh. So set yourself up. Make sure your hips are on top of each other. You can just see your toes and your breastbone, pubic bone are in line. So from there, we're going to turn the hip out. So the toes pointing out and we're going to go up and down. Lovely. Good. Push through that heel as you come down. You can point your toe and there. So breathing in, breathe out. One more. Lovely. This time turn that hip in and we're taking it up and down. Good. Can you start to feel that glute now? Don't forget to use that center. You can have your hand there, but don't push down too much. It's only there to stop you falling flat on your face. Last one. Good. From there, lengthen both legs. So I'm really having to work through this center. Breathe in and breathe out. Try not to let your legs go back too far because that's when you're trying to stabilize all, all yourself. Use this. Good. Two more. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Well done. Good. If this has been your first Pilates 10 minute session with me, I really hope you've enjoyed and please do leave me a comment below. If you are struggling or want to find 10 minutes in your day, then do download my five top tips to find 10 minutes to do your Pilates in your day. If you want to do another video now, then click on the video that's showing now above. See you on the mat soon.